This video is brought to you by JVOS. JVOS is a mindset program which helps you think about jujitsu differently. It will change the way you think about jujitsu forever. It is also brought to you by JVTV. JVTV is my monthly subscription program. Check out the links in the description for JVOS and all of the JVTV chapters. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez and today we have a very special lecture. We are going to be discussing maps and, and the way the central path is visualized through maps. So let's go ahead and get started with the maps lecture. Reading maps is a mental exercise. Maps are designed as a reminder of a thought out plan and to generate a mental simulation or movie in your mind. So what I've realized is that when you start to know the techniques and the systems and you start seeing them in a map form, it starts to create a visual picture in your mind. And this visual picture you can kind of visualize and, 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 and mentally process um, moving from position to position, detail by detail, and it has become a great tool to kind of another element of, of, of information which allows you to more precisely and more in-depthly understand the system that we're trying to put together for you. Maps are read left to right. The color at the top acknowledges the position. The purpose of the map is to give you a starting point in time and space which lays out a route in your mind. Maps allow you to visually see the route and decisions made in your mind. Maps give you an overview of positions, timelines, systems, and chapters. Maps give you a 30,000 foot view of a position. Maps are extremely thought out. Maps have been developed over years of research. Maps allow you to analyze positions decision by decision, frame by frame. Frame by frame is the way I like to classify that. Maps are a huge resource of information. Maps give a starting point of knowledge to build from. Now the master plan has something I call positional color coding. It means that each, each position or chapter or positional perspective has its own color. Standing striking, standing takedowns, turtle, back mount, guard, side mount, mount, legs and AFC. So each one of these positions, the color will always be consistent. Every, every video, every um, map will have these consistent colors. You can identify which chapter you're in based on the colors represented in the map. We also have something I call strategical color coding. Primary color is always going to be this deep blue. Secondary will be this green and black combination and supplemental will be this pink and white combination. So again, you can see the positional color coding as well as the strategical color coding. And when you start to blend these colors together in, in the map, um, which I'm going to start showing you guys here in a minute, it, it, it kind of allows you to start seeing things a little bit differently. Now we have different types of maps. The first type of map that we have I call big picture maps. This is a big picture map, the standing position. Um, striking has to be primary to takedowns. The reason that the order is, the reason those positions are in that order is because you have to use your striking in order to get to the takedowns. You can't just get to the takedown without doing the striking. That's how you start walking in the knees. That's how you start getting clipped on the way in. So you can't, and that's how you take a lot of damage. So you can't just bypass you know, trying to trying to strike and just get to a takedown, it's going to cause you a lot of problems. You can get hurt on the way in. So I always set up my, my takedowns with strikes. The turtle and the back mount. Now the turtle and the back mount have, I believe, the roles have been switched initially, right? I, I'm switching the roles to a way that makes a little bit more sense. So the, generally, when you get the turtle, the first thing you're thinking is to get the hooks in and to get to back mount. But I think it is much easier to finish and trap people's arms from the turtle. So I've made the turtle the primary attack method and the back mount the secondary attack method. The guard, side mount, and mount. Now side mount, I believe, is primary. And the reason why I think side mount is a primary position is because 
it's more stable. It's harder to get rolled. And at worst case scenario, you get put back in the guard. You're still on top. The mount is secondary. So if I'm to pass somebody's guard, if I can finish them from side mount, great. If not, I will transition to the mount as a secondary. And then the guard is supplemental. So uh, whether you're in somebody's guard or you're underneath somebody, uh, if you're going chest to chest, the guard to me would be a, a supplemental position. The side mount and the mount are primary and secondary over the guard. And finally, we have the supplemental category where we're dealing with legs and AFC. I would attack leg locks before I would attack arm locks generally. Now this is a map of the offensive onslaught. Again, I want you to start recognizing the color coding. So you can start seeing how the moves, uh, how the positions transition from one to the other and the color coding within the positions. The second type of map are order of operation maps. Again, this is a this is a back mount chapter order of operation. It tells you that by the color at the top. This is what an order of operations map would look like. Control. Once control is established, you trap the arm. Once the arm is trapped, you attack the neck. Once it, once you attack the neck, and the arm gets underneath the chin, you protect the choking arm. Again, you're using, looking at primary and secondary attack sides, strong side, weak side, and primary and secondary options. So you have primary and secondary attack sides under the control, strong and weak side, strong and weak arm traps. The weak side is actually easier to trap the arm than the strong side. Um, chin entries I attack generally and then uh, from the modified hook drill is secondary. And then again, protecting the choking arm, set the second arm directly or you can use a single arm rear naked choke. So order of operations is a type of map. Here's another type of order of operation map, a little bit more simplified. This is from AFC. And again, some, some maps are a little bit more simplified than others. Here's another order of operations. This is from Turtle Top. Again, you can tell by the color what chapter you're, you're really looking at. There's another version of, of the same kind of map. The third type of map is a step-by-step -step system map. This is, uh, this is chapter seven right here, central path. Part one is control. Once you have control, we have the individual techniques. And again, we're working from the inside, from the middle outward. So the blue is the central path. Secondary attack options are in green. And then the supplemental attack options are in the pink. This would be part two, trapping the arm of the central path. Again, versions in blue are primary, and then the version, and then the moves in in the green are secondary. This is the third part of that same map. Attacking the neck again, primary in the blue, secondary in the green, and supplemental in the pink. So hopefully by seeing the maps, you can start to kind of think to yourself, wow, this guy's really taking the time and gone step by step, frame by frame, technique by te technique. There is a technique hierarchy and a, and a technique priority in what I do. Everything is systemized. And I hope that by seeing these maps, it kind of gives you guys a, a real clear understanding of how detailed this curriculum is. There's nothing like it anywhere in the world in any martial art by anyone. So I'm very proud of the work I've done. I'm very proud of, of all the help that I've, I've gotten and all the people that have been supportive through this project. This project has been such a massive project, so much work, so much detail, and I'm very proud of, of where we are. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys appreciate this content, go ahead and click like and subscribe. If you really like my content, go ahead and click the, the notification bell so you get notified when I release any new videos. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and in the, in, the, in the description, we have the links to all of our programs. We are currently in the process of building out jbjujitsuonline.com. I will let you guys know when that's up and ready, and all of the videos will be posted up there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon.